Hello Canadian gardeners, cool climate gardeners, and gardeners of the extremes. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist on this channel. We take that science and we apply it to gardening and plant care. So if you like the sounds of that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments below what zone you are from because it helps me engineer my videos better towards what my audience would like to see. If you are returning, hello, how are you doing? Yes, we're still at the lake and literally five minutes since the last video was filmed, which you probably watched two days ago, but I digress. What is the best time of day to water your plants? Now, this is such a hotly debated topic, and I don't know why, it's weird to me. So we're gonna go through the science of watering your plants and exactly when you should water your plants based on that science. I'm gonna get a huge amount of people that are gonna disagree with me, but I'm completely okay with that because I stand firm in my theory. In order to understand the science behind what time to water and why we water, we need to understand exactly what purpose water has in the plant. And while you may think you know the answers to that, I can almost guarantee you, I will give you some mechanisms that you have never heard of. The first one is structure. Humans have skeletons, bugs have exoskeletons, and plants, well, they have water. Inside of every single plant cell, there is something called a vacuole. Inside this vacuole, there is water. That water pressure is regulated through something called turgor, and the turgor pressure, or the turgidity, 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 oh my goodness, tongue twister. That water pressure is regulated by something called turgor. Turgor, or turgidity, this water pressure is what keeps the plant upright, but also gives the plant the ability to bend and withstand things like wind or heavy rain and allow it to snap back up. So it makes them so much more bendy than humans or animals with exoskeletons. We know water is important to the overall structure of the plant. That is why water stress or moisture stress will show up in the signs of wilting or weak plant. And that is because the turgor pressure is off and it obviously needs water. The second, probably most obvious, is that it is the, one of the main ingredients in photosynthesis. And as we know, photosynthesis is huge when it comes to producing glucose for the plant to survive. The third reason is translocation. So everything from getting the nutrients from the soil profile into the roots and then into the upper biomass. It literally is the whole system connected. That is what the definition of translocation in regards to plants refers to. And I've said this time and time again, if your plant is, if your soil is not wet or your plant is under moisture stress, it has to do with the fact that there is no water in the soil in order for your plant to take that water up. This also means that your plant cannot flower and it cannot grow if things like hormones and nutrients can't be transported throughout the entire plant itself. And fourthly is transpiration, which is just the opening of the stomata and therefore the loss of water through the bottoms of the leaves, but it is important because it allows for the absorption of CO or oxygen and the release of CO2, which is incredibly valuable to the, again, the process of photosynthesis. Transpiration happens during the day and not just in dark. It does happen in the dark, but not always in the dark. It happens during the day as well as photosynthesis is taking place and the windier and the more heat and the more sun there is, the more evaporation that takes place from the plant and therefore loss of water. If you're losing water, you're therefore going to lose things like the process of translocation, the actual structure of the plant, and therefore photosynthesis overall is going to be stunted. So to prevent this, we water. So let's get into the recommendation on what time of the day to water your plants. If we know that photosynthesis takes place during the day, if we know we need a structurally sound plant during the day with turgor pressure and structure. And we also know that translocation is important because it moves the nutrients around, which then again is going to be used in photosynthesis and growth, etc., and so forth. We know that the daytime is an incredibly valuable time for the plant to have access to water. So that means water your plants during the day, not at night. So whether that be in the AM, midday, does not matter, but it has to be sometime during the day. And I know this is the complete opposite of what everyone tells you, but that is a fact. You are going to reduce the risk of bacterial or fungal or any sort of infection if you are watering during the day because you have more air mo movement, your moisture levels are typically lower, 
you know, the whole dew point thing in the mo morning, how the moisture is a lot higher in the mornings. Well, you don't run that risk during the day and you have the heat and the sun to allow for evaporation. Now, common myth is the whole idea of water burning the tops of leaves. This is not a thing, unless we're talking about acid rain or burn from fertilizer, you're not going to have water burn your leaves. There's a reason why this entire field behind me doesn't have burnt leaves, just because it rained yesterday. It's just not possible. The lens effect is a myth, and I don't have much in the way of science to disprove this to you other than some studies that were done because it's just something that scientists don't concern themselves with because they simply just don't think it exists and I'm one of those that just simply think it does not exist and it's not a thing and the reason being is between the air the heat and the sun it's going to evaporate so quickly I just can't see this happening or being an issue if it was you would see things like burns if you were in the lake and then you went to go sit on the beach you'd have a burn because of the water I mean reflection of water so if you had a plant near water that was you know sensitive to sun and you had the reflection of it then yeah sure but when it comes to water falling on the plant um, especially in the form of droplets I just don't see this being an issue so if early morning midday in and around there is the best time to water your plants what's the worst time to water your plants well that is bedtime so right when the sun's starting to go down, about now actually, is one of the worst times to water your plant. The reason being is there's not a lot of loss from the, wheat, the, the heat or the sun and therefore there's no need for an absorbent amount of water because it's just not simply losing it. But then there's also the fact that you don't have the wind usually, the heat and the sun to evaporate that water and therefore it can lead to disease. But if you are showing signs of moisture stress and your soil is very, very, very dry, then please still water, do not hesitate not to do so. It is incredibly important to translocation, which also takes place at night and respiration, which takes place at night. And therefore, if it is on, <laughs> it's not doing well and it's showing some serious signs of moisture loss, then you may want to consider watering your plant or you should water your plant because that is not going to be as deadly as just letting it dry out overnight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what time of day you water your plants. I water mine like 3, 30, 4 o'clock, usually during the day. <laughs> so I do it right in that heat of the moment, typically. Um, I have been known to do it at noon, high noon doesn't seem to cause me any issues. I've never had burnt leaves in my freaking life. I don't know where that came from, but I hope you guys have a happy gardening summer. I hope it is hot and warm and beautiful where you are, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.